when we know that he has done so much for me and i cannot tell it all let your hands he has done so much for me and i cannot tell it all everybody What shall I render say? What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Let your bones and say, What shall I render to Jehovah? To Jehovah. He has done so very much. For he has done so very much.
Heal the sick, deliver the bowed. Do everything that God is able to do. And daddy take all the glory. As we hold a moment of silence before the Lord, maybe you're here. And you are saying, man of God, I don't want to enter 2019 the way I was. I need to be forgiven. I need to be born again. I need to begin a new journey with Christ. I have not lived the right way or I lost it somewhere on the way and I need to be reconciled with my God. Wherever you are, lift up your head and God is going to help you this morning. You can be forgiven. You can be saved. You can be returned back to the flock of God. Wherever you are, if your hand is up, please let me see it. Lays it up. Lays it up the way it, it is visible. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see hands lifted all over. I see hands lifted all over. Please, ladies and gentlemen, come forward here. I want to lead you to Jesus right now. You can't enter the new here just like that. Something must change. Something must change. Salvation is now. Don't negotiate with your friends. Just come. Come for Jesus. Come for Jesus. Make up your mind and come and receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Enter the new year with the flesh mandate, fresh oil, with your sins forgiven. Yes, come, 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 come. The best decision you can make is to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, even as we enter the new year. If you do things the same way, you keep receiving the same results. You must change the formula to get things in a different way. I'm still waiting for more. The Spirit says there are a few others. Please come forward. Yes, God bless you. 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 Believers, this is your time to encourage them that are coming forward. This is the time for you to encourage them that are coming forward. Devil is losing. Devil is losing. Miss Labre this morning. Jesus is winning. Jesus is winning. Jesus is winning. Jesus is winning. There is no life outside God. There is no life outside God. Life is beautiful with God leading your life. You don't need to mortgage your destiny serving the enemy. Devil has no free gift. He has no free gift. He has no free gift. Whatever he gives to any of you, it is in exchange to your soul. Come to Jesus. Now is the time for salvation. Now is the time for salvation. What a beautiful moment. As we enter the gate of 2019, you are entering a changed man. Having an encounter with the Lord Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful. Please come. I'm waiting for you who is trying to make up your mind, make up your mind and come. Jesus is waiting for you, whatever it is. However, how bad your sins are. Anybody else who is coming for Jesus? You are saying, I want to begin a new life. I want to begin a new chapter of my life. I want to begin with God who has sent Lela's crossover to the other side. I cannot walk alone. My friends cannot help me. My neighbors cannot help me. My education cannot help me. My parents can't build me out. I need Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Please lift your hands. You who have come forward, lift your hands towards the heavens. I want you to know angels are celebrating now. Because of your decision, heavenly beings are in celebration mood. When one sinner makes up their mind to follow Jesus, there is a carnival mood, a celebration in the heavens of God. Because the devil is losing and the kingdom of God is gaining. We will lift your hands towards the heavens as a surrender to God. You are surrendering to God. No man can give you salvation. Salvation is given by God. Upon believing, upon confessing with your mouth, by faith, then you are saved in the name of Jesus. I will lead you in the prayer of confession. You just pray it loudly from your spirit by faith. 
and uh, the spirit of God will take over your life from where you have been stuck and God will lead you home and you will be forgiven. Whatever you have done, as far as you believe and you are confessing you are that, that, that faith in Christ Jesus, Paul told us, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The old things have gone and the new things have come. So salvation is given by having faith the way you have believed. Then you confess with your mouth. Then you are saved. And then Jesus comes to be one with you even in your life. Please follow me closely. Pray this prayer of confession and forgiveness as I lead you. Can you say, Lord Jesus? Make it louder. Can you say, Lord Jesus? I come to you. I am a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your blood. Say it louder. Can you say, wash me with your blood? I need to be a new creation. I confess that you are the Christ of God. You are the Lord of my life. From today, I decree and I declare I separate myself from the works of darkness. I receive Jesus, the son of the living God, into my heart. Welcome, Lord Jesus. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I quit sinning from now. I hand over my life to Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Give me strength. Give me faith. Give me boldness that I will confess you. I will stand for you. Forward ever. Backwards never. I am born again. I am a believer. In the name of Jesus, shout amen. Shout and believe us amen. Keep lifting your hands. I, I want to pray for you and uh, I will lay my hands on you to confirm salvation. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for these men and the women who have made up their mind today, the first day of 2019 to accept you as their Lord and Savior. By believing in the heart and confessing with our mouth, we are created with righteousness. I decree they are born again. The life of sin is dead from now. They are counted righteous according to the grace of God. They have been saved by the grace and no power of darkness can bring them down again. I decree in the name of Jesus, the old has gone and the new has come. You are now born again. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again. The old has gone and the new has come. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. You are born again in the name of Jesus. The old has gone, the new has come. You are born again in the name of Jesus. I decree on this altar that the old things have passed away. And now look what the Lord has done. In Jesus' mighty name, you receive salvation. Everybody shout amen and clap your hands and give Jesus, Jesus praise.
You need to be a lover of God 24 hours every day. Pray. Kila siku jalibu sana uombe. Maombi siyo complicated. Ni wewe kuongea na mungu. Mwambie mungu maitaji yako. Mwambie mungu vile unamueshimu na vile umemutambua. Na mungu atakusaindia kukua from one level to another. Uh, read the word of God. If you don't have a Bible, invest and buy a Bible. And read the Bible. And God is going to visit you through his scriptures. I ninawachagulia mkinunua Biblia na kama uko nayo na ulikuwa usomi nenda uanze kusoma Romans anza na Romans ukimaliza Romans kuja first Timothy and the second Timothy then from there go to Corinthians because you need to be established in doctrine in the first letter and the second letter of the Corinthians then go to the book of Acts and after Acts you read the gospels the gospels all the synoptics Matthew Mark, Luke, and John. Lead all of them and you will find yourself growing. And of course, the fellowship in this place, you need to be attending services. First Kings number 19 and verse number 8. First Kings number 19 and verse 6, verse 7, and verse 8. I will just read. First Kings number six, as six, seven, and eight. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals, and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink, and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time. And he touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink, and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights, and to Holeb, the mount of God. Hallelujah. Elijah was a man that was losing the battle. He was so discouraged and he needed to retire to, from ministry before time. He had been buffeted and attacked, opposed, and squeezed out of his military line, uh, ministry line solely for a long time. And that time came and the man of God decided, I have taken enough. I can't take it any longer. I have suffered enough. I have sacrificed enough. I have fought enough battles. My time to retire is now. He proposed to retire before God was ready to retire him because of the pleasure, because of the stress and the burnout in the ministry. I believe it is pastor who said the pastor sometimes get tired. Pastor sometimes lose, lose the strength. And everybody, even you, even you, you are, yourself, there are days when you don't feel as strong as you should be. So Elijah was giving up. And as he laid down to die, the Bible said an angel of the Lord came again the second time. And he touched him and he said, arise and eat. Tell your neighbor, arise and eat. An angel said, arise and eat. Because the journey is too great for thee. We have come this morning to eat for the journey is long. We have gathered in this crossover night. This exodus night to eat and to feed. With the manna from heaven. With the one revelation. And to receive all the spiritual empowerment. That we might succeed in the here that is ahead of us. So we are here to eat that we may sustain for the journey that is ahead of us. He was told arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. Nobody can make it without empowerment. 
Nobody can survive 2019 without God. Nobody can survive 2019 without empowerment, without divine backup and the spiritual illumination. That is why we are here. Praise be to our God. And Elijah rose and he ate and he drank and he went in the strength of that meat 40 days and the 40 nights and to hold up the mountain of God. He woke up and he ate. we are Melara, Mwambia, wake up and eat. Ongea na mutu mtingize kidogo. Nikiona mutu wa melala karibu na wewe, I will call you here to testify. Tell your neighbor, wake up and eat. Especially back there, I can see a hostel there. Tell your neighbor, wake up and eat. He arose and he ate. And the food gave him power and strength for 40 days and 40 nights. What does communion do to you? Number one, communion heals incurable diseases. The communion we are about to partake, it is an onslaught against the demonic agenda. It is the last kind of God against the manipulation and the interference of demonic forces. Communion will cure, communion will reverse the gains of your health. Communion will heal you, communion will restore you. If you are sick and you eat this heavenly manna, you shall be healed. Number two, it will cover you. It is divine protective measure. Jesus said, as long as you take this meal, that is Paul. Paul says, our Lord Jesus, on the night he was, a, he was, a, he was betrayed, he took bread gave thanks and then gave it to them and he said take this this is my body which has been broken for you take it and then he told them as many times as you take it as many times as you take it you confirm my death and you connect with my death and the resurrection so it is a coverage it is a divine protection number three communion gives you life Communion gives you life. Communion gives you life. The bread we are about to take, it is, the, it is meat indeed. It is life indeed. Communion gives you life. Number four, you dwell in God as a partaker of the communion. You dwell in God. You dwell in God because, because life is in the blood. And when we partake the blood of Jesus, we are infusing his life into our lives. His strength into our priorities. His capacity into our failures. So communion will help you to dwell in God. Number five, communion opens closed doors. Communion opens closed doors. It brings a revival to an individual. And to them and the body of Christ at large. It is refreshment. It is reinforcement. It is re-empowerment. It revamps our strength. It gives us capacity to continue. When we where we are failing, we begin to succeed. Where we are no strength, we receive strength because of the communion. Praise be to our God. I said praise be to our God. As you Partake of this grace. This year, you'll be strong throughout the 12 months of the year 2019. There shall be no weakling among you in the name of Jesus. There shall be no one lacking strength and capacity among us in the year 2019. Receive that grace and shout and believe us, amen. I say shout and believe us, amen. Elijah woke up and he ate and he was sustained by that meal. And the meal we are partaking as we begin the journey 2019, it will sustain us throughout this year in the mighty name of Jesus. I will see you cross over 2019. I will see you cross over 2022. I will see you cross over 2030. I will see you cross over 2040. Receive that grace for preservation, grace for longevity, and shout yes! We 
are not dying. Tell your neighbor I'm not dying. Tell your neighbor I'm very busy to die. Tell your neighbor I'm very busy to die. God will give you power. Through the communion, we are about to partake this morning. We shall be strong. We shall be running. We will not faint. We shall be fighting and keeping our territory. We shall not be intimidated by any power, by any authority. We shall shine even in the doomest day of our lives and we shall have faith and the capacity in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I ask the stewards to deliver the communion table before this altar. Glory to God. Are you ready to partake the communion? You shall be strengthened. You shall be empowered. Hallelujah. Can the gentleman assist? Ama mukona nguvu. Ama nikuji hapo. Okay. The doctors are saying we are equal to the task. Hallelujah. This is power. This is powerhouse. This is power loaded meal. Power loaded meal. Heavenly grace. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a church practice whereby we proclaim what God did on the cross and we make that benefit our own in the present age and the time. We connect with death and resurrection. We connect with the shedding of the blood. We connect with the power of resurrection. We connect with the healing balm because there is a balm in Gilead. So we are here to confess and to get in touch with what God did 2,000 years ago to save humankind and to make sure salvation is available for us in Jesus' mighty name. Let me have the pastors, Pastor Gitonga, Pastor Ratiki. Let me also have two deacons here. Glory to God. Deacon Nulu and uh, one of the deacons. Glory to God. Glory to God. the name of Jesus. This communion is dedicated for your people to partake. It carries the power and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the partaker of this grace will be strengthened and nourished for the journey. The journey ahead cannot defeat any of us who partakes of this communion. We shall be loaded for exploits. We shall be surprised for Power that we need to conquer territories and to have results in the year 2017. I decree as you sustained Elijah with the meal that he took on his weakest day, we are going to be sustained by this meal. And the 2019 is going to be a walkover by the grace that we connect with this morning in Jesus' mighty name. The sick shall be healed. The barren shall be productive. The poor shall be made rich. The hopeless shall receive hope. And the grace of God will minister to every need. According to your riches in glory. In Jesus name. 
we believe and we pray. Amen. The table of the Lord is set for them that are leading for this in grace. Come forward and partake for the heavenly meal is now ready and receive hell for the journey. When you receive, you go to your seat, sit down and meditate on the goodness of the Lord until the last person is served and then a prayer shall be made to conclude this service together and Jesus is Lord. Pastor Gatito and uh, and uh, Deacon Joyce will be on that on that uh, side to serve the people coming from that side. Pastor Getonga will be here together with uh, Deacon Nuru to serve the people that are coming from this place. Please come forward, come in the in the line, come orderly and receive this grace. Come meditating and expecting great things of God to happen. And in Jesus is here. The spirit of God is here and the power is here and your life can never be the same again in Jesus name. Amen. queue and they come forward and God bless you. to 
Lift your right hand and say, my father, I appreciate you for feeding me with the heavenly meal. I decree and I declare, I am sustained by strength and in grace. From this meal I have received, I have help for the journey 2019. I appreciate your death on the cross. I appreciate your salvation. I am a partaker of the glory and the grace of God. I am strong. I am rich. I am strong. I am rich. You need to say this as if you believe it. The Bible said, let the poor say I am. Let the weak say I am. Can you say I am strong? I am rich. I am empowered. I cannot be wasted. I am sustained. All my dreams this year, they are coming to pass. Every door opens for me. Whatever I need cannot be denied me. This year, the hand of God shall be mighty upon my life. I am announced a winner at the beginning of the year. I will always win. I will always prevail. I will always triumph. This year, in the name of Jesus, bad news back to sender. Bad news back to sender. 
Bandy news. You are not my portion. My phone. My email. My address. Can only receive. Good news. This year. News of promotion. You are welcome. News of favor. You are welcome. News of open doors. You are welcome. In the name of Jesus. Every day of evil. Appointed for me. Appointed for my family. Appointed for my business. You are appointed forever. You will never come to pass. I delete you. I approve to you from my calendar of the year 2019. I will not beg for bread. I have more than enough. I shall operate with abundance. Money know my address. Money know my address. My bank accounts, they are not empty. My pockets are not empty. My stores are full of abundance. In the name of Jesus, every element of shame, you are not my portion. Wherever I go, I shall enjoy favor. I shall enjoy favor. My destiny connectors, they shall show up in the right time in the name of Jesus. Nobody will have any reason to comfort me this year. I am comforted by God. I am comforted by God. Nobody can tell me sorry. Nobody can tell me poorly. I receive congratulations. I receive well done. I receive salutation. In the name of Jesus, I cannot go down. In the year 2019, I am for signs. I am for wonders. I am for miracles. Good things will happen in my life this year. Whatever I begin, I receive power. I receive grace to finish with speed and to finish strong. In the name of Jesus, I cannot be sick. In the year 2019, I shall enjoy supernatural divine health from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, every body organ that the Lord gave to me, I command you in the name of Jesus to work for me, to cooperate with me. You cannot trouble me in the name of Jesus. I am not visiting hospitals. I cannot be admitted. My back cannot lay on hospital bed. In the name of Jesus, no injections can penetrate my body. No doctor surgical scalpel can touch my skin. I am healed from the crown of my head to the source of my feet. In the name of Jesus, any food I eat, it will work for me. Any water I drink, it will work for me. Every satanic traps, they will never catch me. I have already escaped from January to December. I am not among the people to die. Bullets of the criminal can never come near me. A vehicle that will have an accident, I will never board. An aircraft that will crash, 
I will never board. A road that has robbers. I will not be there. The buildings that will fall. I can never be inside. I am exempted. I am exempted. I am marked for exemption. In the name of Jesus. Places marked for demolition. I am not a tenant. Places of shame. I am not a patron. I will never be found near shame. I will never be found near lack. I will never be found near sickness. I will never be found near accident. I am protected from January 2019 to December 2019. I will shine like a star. I am for signs. I am for wonders. I am for miracles. This year, I am rich. This year, I am industrious. This year, I make only good decisions. Every weekendness of the weekend, perish with your owner in the name of Jesus. Every satanic agenda, you are aborted. You never happen against my life. Lord, disappoint the devices of the crafty that their hands will not perform their enterprise. Lord, frustrate the tokens of liars. Make diviners mad. Turn the wise men foolish. And confirm your word upon my life. Every agenda to take me forward, you are permitted to succeed. Every agenda to bring me down, you die on arrival. You die on arrival. Very important child of God. This year, I will miss all the people I must miss. I will meet all the people I must meet. In the name of Jesus, the oil of God is upon my life. The grace of God is upon my life. I will enjoy I will prosper. I will multiply. I will increase. I will never be missing. Where I matter. I will never be in a meeting. Where I'm not supposed to be. I will never miss a meeting. Which is ordained for me to attend. I will never miss a service. Which I'm supposed to attend. I will never miss to be in the presence of the Lord to manifest signs and wonders. Like goodness and mercy, signs and wonders follow me. Like goodness and mercy, signs and wonders follow me. Wherever I go, I manifest. Whatever I do this year, it will shine. So help me God. In Jesus name. I decree and I declare. Clap your hands all ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. And the fire has been learning. The work of the priest is to put wood. Into the altar. Make sure there is fire on this altar. Child of God, you shall be envied this year. Results are coming your way in the way you have never imagined. Tell your neighbor, congratulations. Tell your other neighbor, congratulations. 
Tell your neighbor, well done, good and faithful servant. Are you greeting somebody? Salimia uyo suja. Unajua kuacha kitanda yon yu suja. Watu wanapenda yu singizi zaidi. Salimia uyo suja vizuri. Mpatia high ten. Mwambia nina kueshimu mueshimiwa. Nina kueshimu mueshimiwa. In the name of Jesus. Umesalimia uyo suja. Tafuta muingine. Tafuta muingine na salimia yeye. Mwambia wewe. You are for signs, wonders, and the miracles in the year 2019. Hallelujah. 2019. 2019. 2019. Go to 10 people, give them a high five and tell them happy new year, signs and the wonders. 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 Well done. Well done. Happy new year, signs and the wonders. 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 Happy new year, signs and wonders. Hallelujah! 2019 2019 2019 Introduce yourself to your neighbor. Mwambie niangalie vizuri. I am a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah! From today, don't dress just like that. Dress like a sign and a wonder. Don't talk just like that. Talk like a sign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion of the whole matter. Are you clapping to give Jesus praise? Please don't go out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What I'm saying is important. We have come to the conclusion of the matter. We have sealed this year will work for us. We have confirmed this year is beautiful for us. We have declared this year we are for signs and wonders. I will see you this year succeeding. I will see you this year celebrating. I will see you this year beginning big projects. I will see you this year in America. I will meet some of you in Shippo Airport in Amsterdam. I will meet some of you in John F. Kennedy Airport. You are going far, child of God, in the name of Jesus. The hand of God has lifted you today in the name of Jesus. So as you leave this place, leave walking like a sign. Talk like a sign. When you are eating your food, don't eat any hour. Eat like a sign. When you go to salon, go like a sign. Hata ukiendeshe yoga hali yako. Iendeshe ukiambia wewe umebeba signs. Let all your neighbors know. This year, you manifest signs and wonders. And the beginning this month, we'll be endeavoring and going deeper into the grace of manifesting signs and the wonders. Praise be to our God. So this coming Sunday we shall be here. We shall be talking about we shall be renewing our covenant with God for the new year and also continue launching the theme, signs and a wonder. You'll be told what it entails, what is expected of you, how to be a sign and a wonder, how to manifest signs and the wonders, where you need signs and a wonder, how to live like a sign and a wonder. All that revelation will come to you and your life can never be the same again. Happy New Year 2019 Lift your right hand Please put that hand down for a minute We am reminded I was to pray To declare grace upon the students As they go back to school If you are a student come forward From nursery school to the university.
come here. Even if you are doing PhD, you are a student. Come. Wanafunzi what? From PP1 to the PhD. We are starting a new chapter of our education. We need to declare. I see many professors here. Doctors are here. Pilots are here. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please hold on. We have finished the service. Wait for the last blessing which is very important. We are just making a prayer for our students to go and succeed and manage in every area of their life. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wisdom profited in all. Buy knowledge and never sell it. Buy knowledge and never sell it. Wisdom call it. Wisdom speak it. Wisdom does great things. And as you go to school, may the Lord open your minds that you may see and think like Christ and have results that are unstoppable. Put your right hand on your chest and lift your left hand, everybody. Father, as Moses of the Bible told you in Exodus number 33, if your presence does not go with us, we dare not leave this place. Unless your presence go with us, how else will we succeed and how will people distinguish us from others? Daddy, I appeal in the name of Jesus, that you may move with every student who is here and who is represented here. I pray that this time, this semester will be the best of their life. They are exempted from any calamity. These students are exempted from danger. These students are exempted from any frustration in their education and uh, and in the academic calendar, no disturbance, no interruption whatsoever. I command it shall be well with you as you go, as you stay, and as you come back. And whatever it is that you are looking for in that institution of learning, receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will supply every school fees that is needed. The Lord will give resources to take you through that school in the mighty name of Jesus. And every parent who is not sure where money is coming from, I appeal to the riches in glory, which is in Christ Jesus to supply for every resource that is needed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, move with these students. Go with them. Help them to understand the concept of whatever information is disseminated to them. Let them not waste their school calendar. Let them invest in it and get everything that they must get and graduate and finish the term with a distinction to bring honor and glory to your name. We thank even for them that are joining the campus later this year. We thank you for them that will begin school this year. Lord, we pray that your grace will sustain them and it shall be well with them. Accident in school, even when they happen, you will not be there. You will not be caught up in the wrong net. You will not be caught up and stuck with the wrong company. No time wasting, no distractions, no, no naysayers of the enemy. You shall be strong and you shall finish this term and the semester strong and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Shout and believe us, amen. Shout and believe us, amen. Now everybody, including this one, stay where you are. Stand up. Everybody stand up, including this one, stand where you are. Glory to God. 2019. 2019. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. When I declare the blessing, you'll be saying, Amen. Now, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. 
May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord go ahead of you, leveling every mountain and defeating every valley. May you succeed where others are failing. May you have a way where there is no way. May the Lord keep you and sustain you in Jesus' mighty name. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life, you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Days, weeks, months, years, decades, days without an end in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. 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 Put your hands together and celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this service.